assalamu alaikum students our today topic is a pattern how patterns are used as design element and how much patterns are important a principle of art and the universe itself a pattern is an element or set of elements that is repeated in a piece of work or an associated set of works artists use pattern as decoration as a technique of composition or as an entire piece of artwork patterns are diverse and useful as a tool that grab a viewer's attention whether it be subtle or very apparent now we will discuss what is pattern patterns are innate part of art that attract the mesmerize the viewer the ability to recognize pattern is a baseline skill of humans and identifying pattern in painting is a practice that tends to have a soothing psychological effect on the viewer pattern recognition is a fundamental function of the human brain in fact of all animals and it can apply to visual images but also sound and smell it allows us to take in and quickly understand our environments pattern recognition is what allows us to do everything from recogni recognizing individuals and their emotional states to solving jigsaw puzzles to sensing when a storm is due as a result patterns in arts satisfy and in degree intrigue us whether those patterns are clearly identifiable such as andy wolf's repeated images of marilyn monroe or must be parsed out as in jackson how artists use patterns patterns have been used since some of the first art was created in ancient times we see it in a pride of lines on the walls of 20000 years old lescox caves and on the card markings in the first pottery made 10000 years ago there were patterns on that pottery patterns have regularly adorned architecture throughout the ages many artists over the centuries added pattern embellishments to their work whether strictly as decoration or to signify a non object such as a woven basket is one of the example of pattern forms of patterns patterns have been used since some of the first art there are different uh, forms in art pattern can come in many forms an artist may use color to signify a pattern repeating single or Uh, selected pattern um, palettes of color throughout the artwork they can also use lines shapes or textures for uh, uh, creation of good pattern they also can use mosaic techniques or natural murals patterns can also be seen in an entire series of works of different painters like uh, and he holds uh, campbell's soap can uh, is a painting name of uh, artist you can see patterns in this painting artists tend to follow patterns in their entire body of work as well the techniques media approaches and subjects they choose can show a pattern across a lifetime of work and it often defines their signature style 
and because of that style of pattern uh, become specific of a particular artist in this sense pattern becomes a part of the process of an artist action a behavioral pattern or to, so to speak what are the natural patterns The visual element of pattern is cons constructed by repeating or echoing the elements of an artwork to communicate a sense of balance, harmony, contrast, rhythm or movement. There are two basic types of pattern in art, natural patterns and man-made patterns. Both natural and man-made patterns can be regular or irregular, organic or geometric, structural or decorative positive or negative and repeating or random in this slide you can see the images of natural patterns you can see these patterns in the wave of uh, ocean and uh, in sand dunes in the um, leaf patterns uh, flower patterns and a uh, lot of uh, patterns are available in, in nature here you can see some uh, limited patterns. Now next one is man-made patterns. Pattern in art is used uh, for both structural and decorative purposes. For example, an artist may plan the basic structure of an artwork by creating a compositional pattern of lines and shapes Within that composition, he she may develop its visual elements to create a more decorative pattern of color, tone and texture across the work. Here you can see these patterns uh, in the landscape, natural patterns and man-made patterns. On the left side, uh, a scene of uh, snow and uh, trunks of uh, tree have natural patterns and sand dunes and the uh, um, river uh, image on the right side um, but on the right side the lower image is a man-made pattern in landscape pattern as environmentalism Goldsworthy is aware of the empirical qualities of his work, so he documents his activity with equisite photographs in a series of inspirational books. Rowan leaves laid around whole. This is the title of uh, uh, the image on the left side. Uses uses the changing uh, pigmentation of autumn leaf to create a circular pattern of colors it radiates energy in a sunburst of vibrant yellows through flaming reds to a deep purple that subtly blends into the browns and blacks of the earth at its center lies the invisible source of its power means a black hole beyond the black of any pigmentation there is something of the cosmic in the art of Andrew Goldsworthy Hunter Wesser declared that the straight line is something covertly drawn with a rule without thought or feeling it is a line which does not exist in nature on the right side of the image you can see the line work consequently his paintings are ingrained with contours that define their space in the manner of natural wood grains or onion rings patterns all the elements of the painting live and breathe through a circulatory system of line and colors which pulses with expressive energy around and between each component of the composition.
pattern as contrast how you use patterns by creating contrast this is the painting its title is day and night uh, it is by mc escher escher is an elegantly crafted optical illusion that only unravels once we start to explore the geometry of its composition a deceptive use of perspective in combination with a distracting use of pattern tricks us into believing this impossible image escher uses a conventional perspective for the ground plane which stretches to the high eye level on the distant horizon this high eye level places the viewers in an elevated position looking down on the landscape he then super um, uh, superimposes the graduating pattern of the flying geese onto the picture plane which joins seamlessly with the field at the bottom of the ground plane it is the misdirection of this seamless joint that convinces us we are looking at one image rather than to a pattern overlapping a landscape escher also introduces contrasting patterns to direct our attention away from the structural design of the image the contrast of positive and negative black and white day and night in combination with the high eye level pull our attention to the upper half of the work and initiate a left right dialogue between both sides of this mirror image you can see it is a mirror image it is interesting to analyze escher's illusion in day and night but it is more fun to be tricked into believing it next one is pattern as repetition the title of this painting is cole mondley ladies pronounced as champley is a double society portrait of sisters probably twins who are sitting upright in bed presenting their newborn babies to the world it is a painting from the jacobean era from 1567 to 1625 that is both delightful and slightly absurd if this was a single portrait you would focus on the natural relationship between a mother and her child however the repetition of the image changes the way that we perceive the work its theme is totally changed we interpret its unusual configuration with a heightened degree of curiosity as we search for clues to solve the mystery of its strange symmetry at first glance the figures look identical but on closer inspection you notice numerous differences between them patterns of embroidery and lace work are unique to each figure different necklaces are used to separate the sisters while different colors of eyes distinguish each mother and child and the hairstyle also so we can understand that when we repeat the pattern its theme totally and become changed these are the pattern as decoration these are the patterns you can see used for decoration and the woodcut pattern mosaic pattern and craft patterns and in this slide rene margrethe decorated a reproduction of napoleon bonaparte's death mask with a 
surreal pattern of blue sky and white clouds. This poetic decoration it's lifts the object from the mundane through the mysterious to the metaphysical by cross referencing the realm of politics and power. Death and dreams with heaven or the hereafter. Magritte's personal approach to surrealism. Surrealism was one of the uh, school of thought in art uh, in the field of art leaves us contemplating the irrational in a subconscious maze of meaning between the juxtaposition of image and ideas that he uses in his art. What is the relation between texture and pattern? There are many similarities and differences between texture and pattern. Texture arouses our senses of touch. Uh, on the other hand, pattern uh, didn't arouse senses of touch. Texture is more of an irregular repeat than a pattern. Pattern is a, uh, mostly it is a regular repetition. Texture makes the object feel like it has a surface quality, but the pattern have no surface quality. Texture is shown by areas of light and dark, shadow and glossiness and pattern can be in any medium, matte or glossy, shiny or dull. Uh, they are different from each other. These are the sources for further readings. You are requested to please uh, go ahead, read more for your best understanding and knowledge. Thank you for listening.